Hi my dear student, today we will discuss chapter 2, basic algebra, exercise 2.4, question number 9. Without sketching the graph, the function will intersect the graph in how many points? We wanted to find out whether this function will intersect the x-axis at how many points without using the graph. See, very first one, y equal to x square plus x plus 2. In this case, your discriminant value b square minus 4ac equal to b square. What is b? x quotient 1 square minus 4 into a x square quotient c which is 2. So whose value is 1 minus 8 which is less than 0. So in this case the roots are imaginary. So how many points will intersect the x axis? In this case the roots are imaginary. It never intersect x axis ok it never intersect x axis it never intersect x axis because the roots are imaginary second problem y equal to x square minus 3x minus 7 in this case your discriminant value b square minus 4ac will be what is b x quotient minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a x square quotient 1 c which is minus 7 here this is 9 this is plus 28 which is greater than 0 so in this case the roots are real and distinct real and distinct therefore in this case intersect at two points in this case, no points, it never intersect x-axis, that is, it never intersect x-axis, that is, no points. In this case, intersect the x-axis at two points, because the roots are real and distinct. Here, your discriminant value b square minus 4ac will be b6 square minus 4 into a, x square equation 1, c is 9 which gives 36 minus 36 0 so in this case the roots are real and equal so here intersect at at only one point so in this case the roots are real and equal therefore intersect at only one point here two points here no points so without using the graph you can able to say with the help of discriminant value whether the curve uh, meet the x-axis at two points or one point or no points in this case the roots are imaginary so it never intersect x-axis in this case roots are real and distinct therefore it intersect at two points in this case the roots are real and equal therefore in this case intersect at only intersect at only one point got it